the ICT ePortfolio provides you with an opportunity to demonstrate how you have enhanced your teaching using a range of technologies. ICT is an important competence area required by the General Teaching Council of Northern Ireland. In its competence statements, it requires teachers to have a knowledge and understanding of how to use technology effectively, both to aid pupil learning and support their professional role. And an important aspect of this competence is that ICT should be embedded across all of the competences. Another aspect of this outlined in competence number 20 is that teachers should be aware how to support e-learning where appropriate. And that means that pupils should be able to use a range of online tools to support and enhance their learning inside and beyond the classroom. We have not suggested a structure for your ICT e-portfolio, although I will show you some examples. What we have are three broad requirements. The first and perhaps most important is that in keeping with the General Teaching Council expectation that all teachers should be reflective, the portfolio must be a reflective account of your learning. That means that you should not simply tell us what skills you have, what ICT software you're familiar with and how you can use it, but how you have used ICT to support teaching, but more importantly, to support pupil learning. How have you deployed ICT in ways that pupils can learn more about what your curriculum subject is about? The second big aspect of this is that you should develop an e-learning profile. The use of ICT to take learning beyond the classroom and to help pupils understand how ICT can enrich their learning, can extend their learning, can deepen it and of course can bring in other aspects and indeed other knowledge. The third big element of the ICT portfolio is that it should contain one or more of the five themes, so-called dimensions of 21st century learning. In this document, I've outlined in detail what these themes are, and that should guide you in how you should word your e-portfolio and how you should develop the various sections that you decide to put in. Overall, though, there are five main themes to help you understand what you should include in your portfolio. Collaboration, knowledge building, the use of ICT for learning, self-regulation, and real-world problem solving and innovation. You don't need to include all of these, but you should include some of them. Indeed, these are simply elements of very good effective teaching, and we're saying that ICT particularly supports these elements. So you should look to these when you're selecting information to put into your e-portfolio. So how does this work in practice? We're suggesting that you should have an introductory page explaining who you are, an introduction to you and some information about you, and an overview of your ICT skills on entry into the PGCE or indeed perhaps even what you've learned during the PGCE year if you've learned any new software, particularly that software that applies to the classroom. I think you should try to remember that the ICT portfolio is a long-term document and you may use it for many years to come, so bear in mind that it may be read by multiple audiences. Do use the technologies that are available within the portfolio such as web links and links to Word documents. We think a section on how ICT can support learning. And remember about the five elements of 21st century learning. So use the elements of 21st century learning to guide the sorts of examples that you might provide and the comments that you might want to make. Examples might include examples of pupil learning, Examples of pupils using ICT outside the classroom, how they've benefited from it in their subject area, and perhaps some elements of examples of how they've used it uh, in, in context independently of you. You might want to suggest how the use of ICT has enhanced and developed your teaching strategies. And I've included some examples such as the interactive whiteboard or the internet, video and indeed other multimedia resources. They don't have to be very complex tools. They can be as simple as <clears throat> digital cameras, 
video cameras, and so on. Where possible, link any evidence that you provide to the assertions that you make. You might want to include a section on reflections as to what you think the opportunities and challenges have been in the use of ICT to support your learning. And of course, in keeping with the General Teaching Council requirements, a short e-learning profile outlining either your opportunities, your aspirations or your experiences in the use of e-learning.